Hello, Stampers, are you guys here? Let me just get organized here. Um, my name is Jennifer Kirk. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator from Guelph, Ontario, Canada. And I am just getting set up here on my iPad so that I can respond to any comments if you guys may have them. So if you are watching, make sure you do leave me a comment. Hi, Laurel. I see that you're with me. So my camera's a little bit weird today. Hmm. All right. Let's see. We're on an angle. That's about, that about sums up my week. We're on an angle. So this week, um, I had, I'm just back from, from holidays and I had a wonderful neighbor who looked after my, um, property um, up where we have our trailer. Uh, he watered the garden and looked after looked after the garden and the grass and even fed my birds. So I am going to uh, give him a thank you card. So I was inspired by Don Griffith for this card um, and I just changed it up a little bit. So we'll make this card. It's a, it's a Z-fold and it would be perfect for any kind of masculine card that you need. Uh, birthday or thank you or whatever. So we're gonna make similar to this. I'm gonna change it up again a little bit, um, but it's really easy and it really, um, I think it's a cool card. So anyway, so we're gonna do that. Um, so we're using the Whiskey Business. And this is out of the annual catalog. We do have a new catalog starting next week. So next week, I'm allowed to open this up and share with you what's in here. Um, so we're not gonna use anything out of this this week. I will show you probably the bundle that we're gonna play with next week. So you do wanna make sure that you join me. It's the beautiful autumn, it's a whole suite, but I'm just gonna show you um, the bundle. So we're gonna play with this next week. So you wanna make sure that you tune in on Wednesday for my live. All right, and this is a sneak peek out of the new, it's it's the, oh, it's a mouthful. It's a August to December mini catalog, um, AKA the holiday catalog. So uh, this goes active, um, I believe it's August 4th. Yes, August 4th, which is next week. So it's soon and you, there's, let me tell you, it is gorgeous. There's lots in here that you're gonna love. Okay, so I will show you some of the stuff in this next week when I'm allowed to. All right, so let's get started. Um, whiskey business, so we are going to be coloring with blends. So we will be using Memento ink, okay? And this, um, this makes sure that the alcohol markers do not bleed. So we're gonna be using Memento ink. And I will go in after this video and edit um, the the notes at the bottom and tell you all the dimensions and that so you don't need to worry about running them down or writing them down um, as we go but if you do want to then well, you can do it but I will post them okay so we need a piece of <laughs> I can't even think oh my goodness it's too late for me my brain is still on vacation hi Sandy how are you um, we need a piece of crumb cake cardstock. This is four and a quarter by 11, okay? And we are going to score that. We're gonna make the Z. So I'm gonna move my stamp set out of the way. We are gonna score this at two and three quarters. So I can get this lined up. So that's two and three quarters and five and a half. Okay, so two and three quarters, five and a half. And then we are going to bring in our bone folder and we are going to burnish these. So we're gonna fold this one up, line up the sides. Oh, look, I used it on my magenta madness to move ink around. <laughs> I'm using the wrong one, it's my filthy one. All right, so we're gonna score that, that's the base. Then we need a piece of DSP, and this is from the In Good Taste 
um, DSP again from the annual catalog. So this piece is two and three quarters by four and one eighth. And then we want another little sliver of that DSP as well. Um, and this, it doesn't matter how long this is, we're gonna use this just as a little shelf. So this is about five eighths in width and the length, uh, I don't know, let's see. I'll be cutting this probably. So right now we're about uh, three and three quarters. Okay, but the length doesn't really matter. We're gonna cut, but any, anywhere around that. And then we are using our layering squares. Okay, and we're going to cut the scalloped one in the crumb cake. And this, this one measures about three and a quarter. And then a whisper white, and that's about two and five eighths. Cut. Again, I'll put all of these measurements down. Um, we do need a piece of whisper white just to stamp our sentiment on. And then we need a piece for the inside, and this is four by five and a quarter. All right, so let's get going. So the first, we, the other thing that we need is, is, is scrap paper. All right. Um, so what we're going to do first is I'm going to show you, if, if you look at this card, you can see that it looks like the glasses are behind the canister. So I'm going to show you how to do that. That's called a masking technique. So we're going to take our canister, okay, and this is scrap paper. We're going to fussy cut this out. We're going to cut it out with scissors. So we're just going to ink this up. And again, we're using memento because we will be coloring it with blends. All right. And we just want to put our canister down. Okay. Oh, I kind of went off the page. That doesn't matter because it's right at the top. It's because I can't look straight down. I think I kind of maybe need a new pad, eh? It's getting kind of grungy, but I love this. I use this all the time. All right. The next thing that we're going to do is, so what I've done is I took a sticky note and I've used this well up. I've taken a sticky note with some stickiness here. Okay. I stamped the canister on the sticky note and then I cut it out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this right over top of our stamped image. All right. You can see where my glasses are. So now I'm going to stamp the glasses on top of that and it's going to hide part of the stamping. So this is called masking. So I just inked up again. We're using memento because we're going to be coloring and stick it down, ink it up, stick it down. All right, close the ink pad so that my hand and my project and everything doesn't end up in it. And take off our mask. And there you go. See, it looks like they're behind. Um, I went ahead and I pre-colored this already and cut it out, okay? So you guys don't have to sit here and watch me color. I will show you how I colored it when we do the inside. So I'm going to stamp the glass on the inside. I'm not going to stamp the sentiment right now because I do want to line up the sentiment so it's hidden. But on the inside, I'm just going to do a single glass and I will show you how I colored it. Hi, Catherine. How are you? I hope you're having a good night. You have to forgive me tonight. My brain is still on vacation. I've been on vacation for a, a couple of weeks and man, it is a hard week to get back into anything. All right, so blends I am using. I wanted it to look a little bit like, so the, the gentleman that I'm giving this card to is a rum drinker and um, we're getting him a bottle of rum. So, but it's a dark rum. So I wanted it to look kind of rummish, rummy-ish, if that's a word. I don't know. I don't drink rum. So I'm using the light cinnamon cider blend. Okay. And I'm just going to color in where the rum would be. Now I did think it was a little bit too brownish to be kind of the color that I wanted. So what I did was, I will show you. 
forgive me, I hope my head's not in the camera. <laughs> um, I took the light mingle melody and I just went over it where the brown is and it just adds that little bit of tinge that takes the the brown out of it. So to me it looks a little bit more like a rum color. Rum on the rocks. How disgusting. <laughs> Hopefully you guys aren't rum drinkers. Alright. My husband used to drink that stuff. He doesn't drink it anymore. But. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to take the light seaside spray and I'm going to color our ice cubes in this and it just kind of gives it a little stand out. I mean, water isn't always just white, right? And it's coming through glass, so it's reflecting a little bit. But then that, to me, that looked a little bit strange, having blue against, because it, it looks really blue that way. So what I did was I took the ivory and I just added a little bit over the ice and I just took so it looks like there's some diluted rum in front of the ice cubes there. I don't know. Maybe I'm imagining it. What do you guys think? Am I imagining it? <laughs> oh, you, this is your first time joining me. Well, thanks for watching and thanks for commenting. All right. There we go. So then the last bit of coloring we're going to do is the, with a uh, light smoky slate. And I'm just going to go over this, the parts of the glass here and it just will bring in a little bit of depth to the glass. I'm also going to do it over where, where the rum is <laughs> um, as well. And I just, again, just stamping up has made these stamps easy for us to color because wherever there should be a highlight, they've put lines. So you don't have to be really good. You just have to follow the lines. Okay, and there you go. So I did the same thing on this one, but I didn't want you guys to have to sit here for an hour and listen to me ramble and color. I could do it forever. I love coloring. All right, now we're ready to put the card together. So I am using my trusty old Tombow um, because I have to order more of the seal. I ran out. I ordered, I think, three of them and I'm out. So the seal is our new adhesive that we just started carrying and I love it, but I am out. So I have an order that is arriving tomorrow where I will be able to get it. All right, so we're gonna stick this here. Okay, and then we're gonna put these two together. Again, I'm just using the glue. It just gives me a little bit of time to play and get it centered because especially when I'm on camera because I can't be over top of it so who knows if it's straight <laughs> hopefully it's straight this doesn't really matter because we're not stamping on it now what I'm going to do is I want our sentiment to kind of hide behind here I'm look thinking okay when I did this, I, did, I didn't like it. I felt like it was floating. So I kind of just took another piece of DSP, which I'm gonna stick across the bottom here as I throw my whiskey or whatever it is across. And I'm just gonna stick this on. I'm gonna cover most of it. So remember when I said it doesn't matter what the length really is, because we can cut it. But I'm just kind of making it so it adds like a little bit of a table that I can stick these guys on. All right. So now I'm going to glue these down. And again, I, you could use dimensionals if you want. Um, because of the Z fold, this card has a little bit of height to it anyway. So I decided to do it flat. But you can do, if you'd like it popped, you can pop it. Um, I'm not, not going to get glue squishing out everywhere, I bet you, because I put too much. See? Ah! What a mess. I make a mess. Me and glue. I get it everywhere. Oh, well. We'll just pretend that that's not there. How about that? Okay? 
Does that work? Yes. All right. So I'm going to stick this down now. Now you only want to put adhesive on part because on the le on the what side is that? Left hand side. Um, because this part is going to be hanging over and you don't want glue on that. So we're just going to stick this down, try and get it centered. I have this in here just for my eyes, but uh, there we go. That'll work. You can have it off centered too. A lot of people don't like doing things centered. I kind of end up doing them centered, but so now I want to make sure my sentiment on the inside is not going to show so I need to make sure that I keep it in this area here okay so I'm gonna move this across and I'm just gonna use straight up you're the best because I'm saying thank you to a very kind neighbor who, who um, did much more than we expected him to all right now I can adhere this down. We're almost done. This is an easy, easy card, but it's really, uh, for those masculine cards, I always struggle with masculine cards. I don't know if you guys do, but I do always struggle. Okay, we're gonna stick this in, make sure it's centered. Push it down. See, I have glue everywhere. Me and glue, man, I don't know. Okay, and then our last little banner, I'm gonna put, cheers to you. So again, you could do this as a birthday card. There's another sentiment I'll show you that comes with this stamp set. Hopefully this is straight, I can't see. So I'm just putting it on a piece of scrap paper here. And then if you are talented, which I'm not, you could take your scissors and you could do a banner and some people can do that and make it look really pretty. I take out my trusted tailored punch and this gives me the perfect banner every time. So all I do is stick it in. I see where my letters are. I center it, move it a little bit back past the letters. Hope I'm still centered as I shake everywhere. And there you go, you got a perfect banner. So that's how I do my banners. Some people are really talented and can just cut cut it straight. Mine would look mine would look like I had drank the whole canister of rum. <laughs> it would be so lopsided. Okay, and then I'm just gonna glue it down. And that is it. Simple, simple card. There we go. Okay, cheers to you. Straight up, you're the best. I don't know, which one do you like? Crumb cake or, I kinda like this one actually. The contrast I think is a little bit nicer. Both of them I guess work, but. So you could also do sending you an old fashioned birthday card, your top shelf, or being, being a dad is whiskey business. So this would be great for Father's Day. So I love this. I bought this set for my uncle because my uncle is a whiskey drinker um, and I, have been able to use it for lots of uh, lots of cards to give away so I hope you guys enjoyed that so if you weren't if you didn't join me at the beginning of the video I gave you a sneak peek of what is coming next week new catalog so exciting um, so I can't open this yet until next week uh, so next week I will be able to show you some of the goodies that are inside um, we will be playing again with the beautiful Autumn Sweep next Wednesday. So do make sure that you join me and uh, we'll have a lovely Autumn card that is new from the, from the catalog there. So I hope you guys have a... I, I, you know what? I can't cut straight either, Sharon. So I'm glad there's somebody else with me. I Mine would be as crooked as anything. I used to... I used to laugh with, with with the girls and my friends and say, oh yeah, I had a couple of glasses of wine when I made you this card, so don't mind. But <laughs> but I, you know, I can't use that excuse all the time. Um, so anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful week. Thank you for joining me. And um, I hope that I see you next week. Take care and bye for now. <laughs>